So hey everyone, so I am in a 2017 Ram 1500 Laramie Longhorn. This truck's very nice. This truck's very familiar to me because I've spent some time in one of these, but a little bit older version, a 2013 model. Um, what I can tell you is that the difference between riding in a half ton truck and a three quarter ton or one ton truck is dramatic. And what I mean by that is this truck rides like a car. And the road that I'm going over right now is traditionally a very bumpy road, and it is just a very smooth, planted, nice ride. Now, it does feel different than the Toyota Tundra that I drove. Um, it has more of that tightness feel to it, where the whole truck doesn't feel as if there's any variation in how the front of the truck moves versus the back of the truck. So what I can tell you is that the driving behavior of this truck is very nice, but it feels very similar to other half-ton trucks that I've driven. It actually has a very nice handling feel to it. You know, you really can't go wrong with any of these half-ton trucks anymore. They all feel actually overpowered. Um, they accelerate very smoothly. They shift very smooth, and they're just actually a real pleasure to drive. They all feel much lighter than three-quarter ton and one-ton trucks. Now the power band on this truck feels a lot different than it did on the Tundra. The Tundra felt as if it was very, very throttle sensitive. This particular truck doesn't feel quite that way. It actually feels as if it takes a little bit longer for the gearing to kick in, and that may be partially because of the axle ratio on this particular truck. This one has the 5.7 liter Hemi in it. This is a four wheel drive truck. As you can see, it has the extended running boards across the bottom to match the whole length from the front of the cab to the rear, right up until the bed. When you get the Laramie Longhorn, you're automatically gonna get the LED lights on the back, as well as the LED light strip on the front. It does not have a slow opening tailgate. However, it does have a very, very nicely assisted tailgate. It doesn't feel like it weighs that much, and that's mainly because it has a torsion bar that runs through it, similar to the three-quarter ton and one ton dually trucks. Again, you get the LED light strip with the projector by halogen bulbs. It's a halogen bulb, not an HID bulb, but it actually has really good output for what it is. It has a real nice chrome inlay inside of the grill, front tow hooks, fog lights, 20 inch wheel package. Again, I really like the interior on the Laramie Longhorn truck. You get this nice real wood grain up here. You can actually see how it was cut and mitered on the edge. Nice leather trimming all the way throughout. The interior is really nice on these trucks. Again, you can actually get it with the optional uh, Laramie inlay or the Longhorn inlay, which has a nice um, embroidered scripting. Even the floor mats on these trucks are really nice. Again, the Laramie Longhorn is going to give you this nice wood grain. As you can see, this one has front and rear parking sensors on it. Also downhill assist traction control, tow haul mode, trailer brake control. This uses an interesting shifting system that Ram has actually used for some time and Chrysler uses in most of its vehicles, which is a knob here that lets you switch from park, reverse, neutral, and drive, as well as your push button four wheel drive system right below it. It does have push button start. As you can see the uh, steering wheel has a nice wooden part to the top of it. truck does have a sunroof, Alpine sound system. Taking a look at the sticker on this truck, this truck has an MSRP of 57235 but the sales price, which I'll actually post at the end of this video, is considerably lower than that. This truck is, I'll just tell you, it's over $10,000 off. And that's for a 2017 model. This also has their higher tow package because it also includes the 392 rear axle ratio. If you remove the sunroof option, that would be $1,000 off of this price as well. 
And here's the interior back. Again, I really like these saddlebags that are included on the back. They're actually attached with magnets, or they close with magnets. Again, really nice mats. An interesting difference between the Ford and the Ram trucks is this hump in the center, where on the Ford trucks it's completely flat back here. On the Ram trucks you actually have this hump here. But they do have a very similar fold flat storage system in the back, and it gives you the ability to actually give you a significant amount of storage and flatten the area out if you have to put, load things in the back with the seats up. From my standard seating position up front, the rear seat legroom on this truck is right at 12 inches. So it's actually virtually identical to the rear seat room in my current Super Duty, my 2016 model. I'm going to show you how the seat works. There's no latch, you just lift up right here. And the fold flat system, this is actually the legs for it. And then you flip this out and it turns it into a completely flat surface in the back. And you do the same for the, the other half of the back seat as well. Or the other two thirds of the back seat. And when you're done, flip it shut. Drop your seat down. So this truck actually comes equipped with a smart key, keyless entry, push button start. So I've talked about this before, but as long as you have this key fob in your pocket or near you in your hand, you simply walk up to the truck, grab the handle, it unlocks the truck, and you can open it. To lock the truck, simply close the door, and you press the button, and it locks the truck. So I know I showed you this on the Laramie Longhorn uh, 2500 that we had driven before, but you really have to be impressed with the detail that Ram puts into their gauge cluster up front. It's just very well laid out and it's got some really nice detail. A lot of folks may not care about it, but it actually makes the truck look really nice and dressed up. I can appreciate that. So there's your cup holders down there at the bottom. You're also going to get your rear air conditioning vents on this truck. Comes with a nice Laramie Longhorn patch here. When you open up your center console, it gives you a really nice flat surface here if you want to put things that are going to be readily available, as well as USB port, auxiliary input, and a looks like a well, it looks like a cigarette lighter adapter or a cigarette plug, but it's actually a USB adapter. Coin holder. Then your larger pocket below. This is actually very large. This is a very wide console. You could probably fit any type of folders that would be the width of this. This is a great storage place to put like tape measures and other tools you may want to have on hand. Cup holders. This part folds down. So this is kind of cool right here. This is actually where you'd want to slide your phone into to have it kind of prop up and support it. That's actually pretty neat. And it makes your phone kind of tilt forward at a nice angle. You have a little 12 volt power plug down here at the bottom too for your cigarette lighter adapter for your phone. 8.4 inch Uconnect screen. Bed height to the ground on this truck is right at 37 and a half inches, a little less than that. And then to the top of the bed rail is right at 56 inches on this truck. This truck does not come equipped with tow mirrors, but it is optional from the factory, so you can actually have factory installed tow mirrors on this truck. All Ram half-ton trucks are now rear coil sprung suspension. And here's a shot of the rear axle and the coil sprung suspension. And here's your front suspension. Fully independent, same as all the other half-ton trucks. .148 inches thick. I don't know if you can see through there, but you can actually see those little fins. And that's actually part of the active shutter system on this. So depending on the speed that you're going, those fins will actually close or open to allow more or less air into the intake. And what that actually does is it either diverts air around the truck or diverts air into the engine bay. And here's a shot of the engine bay with the engine running.
So as you can see, I'm actually doing five and a half foot beds on this particular truck, mainly because the Tundra that I already reviewed had a five and a half foot bed and getting these things in six and a half foot beds are very difficult. So since this is the more popular model, I felt it made more sense. Now, for some of the things that I don't necessarily care for that I would like, one, I don't really like these large humps in the center of the back. I prefer it to be a little bit smoother, a little bit flatter than that. Also, any of these premium trucks you should really have with tow mirrors. I don't understand the point of putting standard car mirrors on these trucks. They just don't give you the visibility that you would expect, especially if there's a vehicle in your blind spot. And having, uh, you know, at minimum a blind spot mirror integrated in makes a lot of sense. And I think that all manufacturers should do that. So let me give you my final impressions of this truck. You know, this particular model and body style and even interior have been around since about 2013 on the inside and since about 2011 on the outside. Ram has really done a good job of getting the inside of these trucks so right. It feels very comfortable. It feels like a place that you could spend a lot of time in. Soft touch materials on the dash, the nice stitching throughout, the markings. Everything in this truck make you feel as if you're driving in a luxury half-ton truck. One of the biggest perks about this is that you're not going to really find another manufacturer that has a half-ton truck that's this well-appointed with the discounts that Ram offers. Again, you're getting a truck that has a sticker price of $57,000 and change, and you can walk out with this truck, you know, under $50,000. The reality is the value behind the Ram product is really outstanding and you get a lot for the money. You really get probably the most luxury features as well as amenities for the price and you still get a phenomenal ride. It just has a great ride characteristic. Now that being said, you know, you're not going to want to tow a fifth wheel with this. You're not going to want to tow an incredibly heavy trailer or even put a gooseneck behind this truck. This is going to be for your light and medium loads. If you're going to haul a trailer, you can haul up to roughly, what, a 10,000 pound trailer with this truck. I would not recommend somebody that might have a Ram 2500 or 3500 in mind move to one of these simply because it's not going to give you the capacities or capabilities of a truck that big. That being said, it feels overpowered for what it is little bit different throttle response than the Toyota Tundra that I drove, but it definitely does not feel underpowered in any way. And I think that it's a really good truck to consider. Quite frankly, you're not going to be able to really get another truck for the price you can get one of these for with the features that this truck has. I really want to take a moment to thank Lithia Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram in Corpus Christi, Texas for allowing me to do these reviews. They've been very cooperative and they simply allow me to take the vehicle out and do the tests and reviews I'd like without any sales reps or anybody trying to, you know, pressure me to say anything. So really appreciate that about working with these guys.